couple of seven viewers on YouTube, three of which were me. So today I wanted to talk about uh, these extension tubes that I got. I had just recently been turned on to them. It was, it's pretty much the alternative to buying a thousand dollar macro lens. Um, and you don't necessarily need to spend a thousand dollars on a macro lens, but I would spend a thousand dollars on a macro lens. So this was a nice forty dollar alternative. Um, I got one of these. It's just one of the generic ones. The Canon ones are ridiculously overpriced to do pretty much the same damn thing. They work pretty good. They're a little hard to get used to, but you know, you find some hacks now. The way an extension tube works, which I, I have a, a 24 millimeter lens on the end of this, but the way the extension tubes work is it pulls the lens away from the um, sensor and it creates this, uh, this pocket of air that just makes it so that it changes the focusing distance. Um, now, the more scientific way that this works is magic. So, you know, as we all know, the magic goes in here and it comes out here. It's just magic. It's really that simple. But what a lot of people don't know is there is a way to make the magic better. I'm using my best camera to record this, so I can't use that. But we'll use my little old, old D40. It's not that old still fine. So, what you do to get the best possible image quality is you pop your lens off. Line up the extension tube. You hold it up like this and then you pour glitter on the inside and it makes the magic better. Now, I don't have the data in how that works, but you're gonna have to trust me, it works. You turn the camera on Put the glitter inside and then snap your sensor a few times and it mixes the glitter in with the sensor and you will be amazed at what you get just performance wise. I mean it's pretty amazing just glitter and magic. Then snap your lens back on and you're ready to do some macro photography. Now. I don't have any glitter on me, sadly, um, so I can't show you how it works, so you're just going to have to take my word that it works. Well, try it yourself. Go get some glitter, pour it in the extension tube, go make magic. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of uh, the photos that I took without the glitter, sadly, so it doesn't have the full effect of the magic, but, you know, uh, this, these are some of the photos that I got out of the extension tube. As you can see, I took out an old pocket watch that I got for Christmas one year or something, um, and a few rings set them up and got surprisingly close. Got a pretty cool photo of my wife's eye. Just wanted to do that. This is a pain in the ass, by the way, and you have to blind your subject in order to get what you're looking for out of it. Okay. So, I have these old Chinese knockoff Pokemon figurines uh, that I got from somewhere. Who knows? They're all miscolored. They're weird looking. Uh, a little later on on this channel, I'm going to explain f-stop, ISO, and shutter speed using those Pokemon dolls. Not a problem with the extension tubes, just a racist jinx. A Chinese knockoff racist jinx with blackface. And yeah, that's about it. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you were able to get the magic to work with your glitter and, the, and your extension tubes. And yeah, happy shooting.